Hi everyone. So today's unboxing is for QVC. I've been wanting this coffee maker by Keurig. It's a little pink coffee maker and it's time for an upgrade. The last one I had, it was like five years old, probably longer than that, but um, it was by Keurig. I used to work for them for like about five years and I just love the product. So today's unboxing is for the pink I believe they call it the rose um it's like a blush pink keurig machine it's it's smaller i'm kind of downgrading for my coffee machine but i don't make coffee i just make tea out of it but i just feel like it's better to just get the smaller one because i noticed that the water sits in the reservoir longer than expected and i have to end up changing it anyway so i'd rather just have a smaller keurig machine that way i could just make my cups as i go and then i don't have to have water sitting in the reservoir so if you're new to my channel please like and subscribe below and don't forget to hit that bell and make sure you send it to your friends and let them see how my channel is going too because i know you guys are going to love all the things that i have coming up for the videos of my new unboxings and don't forget to hit don't forget to check out my daughter zoe's channel it's princess zoe on youtube and i will have the link in the bio below so let's get into this unboxing so i love pink and i've been wanting this keurig machine for a while now so i just decided to go ahead and buy it and it's been kind of hard to find it because they have the Keurig um, Mini and the Mini Plus. I wanted the Mini Plus because the Mini Plus has like a, uh, it has an extra little compartment on the bottom. No, actually an extra little compartment in the front, I mean, where you could store your K-Cups. I know I told you I only drink tea, but sometimes, like maybe once or twice a year, I might drink some coffee. So... I went on QVC because they had a deal and I got it for, I want to say, I'll put it in my bio. I can't remember the exact price, but I believe it was for $150. Um, but I'll put it in my bio below and let you guys know the original price. It came with a light roast coffee. It's by Green Mountain. It's the breakfast blend. It also came with a dark roast and this is dark magic and it also came with a my k cup so this is the my k cup so i'm gonna get into this it has the insurance warranty for one year the light from my stove is showing a glare but this is just the warranty for one year so let me open this. So since I cleaned the counter off, I could do an unboxing and let you see how the machine works too. Okay. Toss that over there. It came with this little book right here. Open that up. Yeah, it just came with these little pamphlets right here. It gave a coupon for some coffee. And this is just a little pamphlet on how to open up your machine and get it started. So depending on if it's complicated, <laughs> I could just get right into this on making a cup of coffee. Okay. So I'm gonna pull this back. Bear with me. Try to see if I could get the coffee machine in here. So this is the coffee maker. I love it. I'm so happy. I got my pink coffee maker. And this is the compartment that I was talking about that you could put your little K cups in. So I'm going to take this off right here. Let me put this down before I break it. It's 
so cute and compact. So I'm gonna slide this off. You just open this and put your cake cups inside of here. So I'm gonna move this down so you guys could see the machine more. So this is the machine. It's open right here. And that's the specs of it. Let's close that. Here's the little reservoir. And I got the plus also because on the mini, the reservoir does not come off. This one comes off. You can just take it and wash it. I'm actually not gonna I'm actually not gonna brew it today because I have to clean this out and I don't know if I have enough time on my camera right now. But I will run a cycle of some water in it. So on the back it has a little compartment in the back where you could take the plug right out. That's really cute because it just like retracts back into it. That way you don't have the cord just hanging all over the counter. So what I'm gonna do, and it has a drip, a drip tray right here. And these drip trays, drip trays, I can't, I'm getting a little tongue twisted right here. But these drip trays, they hold about a cup, like a six ounce cup, I believe. Same case it overflows and It'll be like a, it'll drip into the drip tray, drip tray for like a four ounce or a six ounce cup. So I'm gonna plug it on so you can at least see it light up. So it's plugged in. Let's see. And turned on. So I'm gonna bring the camera closer and let you guys see. It's turned on. It has a little strong button right here. So in case you wanna make it stronger. I'm not hearing any noise yet. Let me check and see what's going on because I'm not hearing anything. Most of the time when you turn the machine on, it starts like making a little noise to know that it's even on. And this is silent. So it's scaring me right here. There's no button on here. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of water in here to see if that's the problem. And just run it. Still not hearing anything. So it has up to 12 ounces. I don't know if you can see that right there. It goes up to 12 ounces. I don't know, I'm getting a little scared right here. I'm not hearing anything from the machine. not getting hot hmm. so it's plugged in but it's not doing anything
Well, this is the unboxing for the Keurig Plus. It's the Mini Plus. I'm gonna figure out what's going on as far as why it's not making any noise or anything right now, but I'll come back with another video and let you guys see if it brews or not. So thank you for coming to my channel and come on back and don't forget to share to your friends. And I'm out. Thank you. Deuces.